Okay, so I'm getting ready to start matting my baby. Um, she just got finished cooking um, for 250 degrees. And here's my oven. Hopefully this doesn't screw up again. The camera's on a tripod, so I'm trying not to mess it up. But um, she's in there. She just finished cooking. She's on a pillowcase so that it doesn't have any fibrous tissues. This is on a tripod, so you're going to see some legs on it just so I can keep my hands busy. Taking one hand out at a time. And I have a little bit of thinner left in this jar. So I'm going to use this up first. She's really, really hot, so I'm going to do this fast so it doesn't burn the poop out of my fingers. Um, I don't want too much thinner on my sponge. I'm going to put it on and blend it out. I can't even see. Let's try this again. How about there? Um, I'm using one of the wash sponges, so it's got a model-y, thicker texture than the model sponges. It gives it more of a natural skin tone. This baby is crazy hot. I'm kind of burning the stink out of my hands right now. Ha, but yeah. I have found, for some reason, and I don't know if it's just me or if other people who use this found the same thing, that if I put it on cold, it does not set properly. It becomes kind of chalky. So I have discovered that if I put it on hot and let it cool just enough so that it doesn't hurt the vinyl when I cook it again, it has a pretty good um, curing rate. Occasionally, if there's too big of a thick glop, it will still have an issue right there, but I work very carefully to smooth it out. I'm going to stick that on a drying rack. I'm going to use one of my receiving towels so I don't burn the stink out of my hands on the next ones. And you're always starting with um, the farthest piece away from the flange, which is the hands or the feet. So you have the ability to hold on to it and control. I'm trying to keep it in the area, but there's not as much work area on this particular spot as there was on my table. My cooking area is in my apartment kitchen. It isn't actually used as an apartment kitchen. Um, it's used exclusively and only for dolls, so it's out of the area where I work, so I don't have to have the smells in the same room. I have plants hanging in here to help um, clean the air if there's any chemicals coming from the hot vinyls. Okay, two little arms done. I still have leftovers in my sponge from the last arm, so I'm going to use up... Gosh, this is really hard. I hope this doesn't suck. I'm sorry, guys, if it does. I'm going to use up what's in my sponge first. it on and blend it up, making sure that you use the light as a reflective surface to tell you where you have and haven't got the sealer on. This will give it a bit of a moist look, which to me looks more realistic than the super dry look that the actual matte finish provides. Some people don't like it because they say it looks shiny, um, but when it's textured like this I don't find that it looks too shiny. For my preferences. Of course it's shiny right now because it's wet, but when it's dry you'll see that it's not terribly shiny. Making sure you get all the undersides, the insides, the outsides. You'll see it if it's if you miss a spot, it won't protect it, and you'll feel it also. Okay, so one 
Pull the leg down. This also, for some reason, makes the paint colors more vibrant um, than what you normally see. It kind of enhances everything for some reason. And if you have a little bit of smeary paint on your body, if it's a little bit gritty for some reason, it also makes that look more natural. And I try really hard not to make it imperfect, but this particular leg I think was the one that had some issues on the back side right in here. And with the matting or the thinning medium sealer stuff, it's not really as noticeable as it was when it was not put on there. One thing we don't want is hairs. I just found a hair. It probably transferred on from the receiving blanket I'm using. You don't want hair stuck in your mat sealer. I really hope this video doesn't suck. Can't seem to keep the, the little leg in the right spot so everybody can see. So I apologize if it sucks really bad. I'm not going to seal the head right now because I'm going to do another layer of eyebrows on it and some hairline, um, but I am going to seal these little legs while they're hot so they don't have to get or heated unnecessarily anymore. I'm going to go over and make sure that all my little toes are done and there's no more gloppy large spots. This is why I try to do the feet first because they get boingy if you go back and do them. Okay, so my other little leg is done. So I'm going to cook these or let these cool off now until they are um, not quite cold, um, but that to a point where they won't get harmed if I cook them again. If they go in right now for another 12 minutes, they're going to melt and turn into nothing. Um, so they're going to cool off enough that it won't hurt them to be heat it again and then after that they will be done and ready to gloss the fingernails and um, assemble on the body. So we'll be back in a little bit with that.